Hi, I'm Zane, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build quick apps using AI. So I'm currently using a website called Llama Coder. This one was recently released, and I found this on Twitter. Uh, and it's powered by an open source AI model, which is the Llama 3.1405B by Meta. So let's just say you wanted to build a quick app here. I'm just going to say build a quiz app about the American Civil War and press go. And if you scroll down, you'll see that it is generating some code here along with the, the question, the options, and the answer. And we'll just give it a second to fully load. And there we have it. On, on the right here, you can see a very basic app. So uh, first question, which state was the, was the first to secede from the union? I'm not American. I don't know which one, but let's just say South Carolina. And let's go next. Pick another answer. Go next. Pick another answer. Go next. And there it gives us an answer. Obviously, you can get more detailed with this and uh, give it more questions, give it more options, and it will generate those for you. If you're handy with coding, you can obviously go ahead and edit the code as well. So if I wanted to change the question here, I could have just gone and said, um, which state was the first to, I don't know, join the war? question mark and again i don't know which one they are but let's just say you know it was alaska which i know for a fact that it wasn't uh and then you know let's just say the answer is alaska of course you can run the code again and uh you can make it work accordingly so again i go to restart uh, quiz and then it says you know which state was the first to join the war i go with alaska next question so on so on and so on and again i got one right which is the Alaska option that i gave it uh, let's go and try another option. So let's just say a, um, I'm just going to refresh the page super quick. There we go. And I'm going to say, build me a monthly budget calculator. And we'll go and press enter. Again, you can see it's doing its magic on the left. So let's just give it a second. And there we go, right? So it's giving you these options of monthly income. So let's just say my monthly income is $5,000. Let's just say I spent $2,000 on housing, uh, $1,000 on food, $200 on transportation, $500 on entertainment. And then I want to put maybe, I don't know, let's just say 1000 in the bank. So it you know tells me right here, total expenses are $4,700 and remaining balance is $300, which again, I could go in and add to my savings accordingly. Again, if you're a little bit handy with coding, you can go ahead and add new options and so on accordingly. So maybe um, I want to remove the option for transportation because maybe I don't need that. And let's put that in for the gym, right? And you can see it editing the code right there. Maybe you want to add another option. So let me go copy paste this here. And again, there we go. So again, this gives you another savings option. And let's just say we want to go for, what should we go for? Let's just say shopping, right? So let, we have a uh, shopping option here and you can, you know, do this entire thing again. I have to be honest, some apps it doesn't generate. It can only generate very basic options and you have to give it a few tries until you get it right. But I thought it was pretty awesome, you know, generating this amount of code in basically five seconds is, is pretty cool. I wasn't ever able to do that before. I don't know how to code. I know how to read a little bit of code. So I definitely found it very handy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.